This theory explains quantum mechanics as a physics of time, as a physical process, with classical physics representing processes over a period of time, as in Newton's differential equations. Time is an emergent property in this theory, with objects forming their own future space-time by slowing up the rate the time flows, relative to the energy and momentum of their own actions. This process is universal, even a billiard or snooker ball will have their own reference frame relative to its energy and momentum. The rate the time flows within that frame of reference will be relative to this energy. When billiard balls strike each other, the charge fields of the two balls repel each other. If it was not for their electrical charge, they would pass right through each other. The carrier of the electromagnetic force that forms the movement of charge is the light photon of quantum mechanics. Because charge is an innate part of all matter, we have one universal process with the future unfolding photon by photon relative to the position and energy and momentum of each billiard ball. A game of billiards is always played over a period of time in three-dimensional space with a potential sphere of future uncertainty that at the smallest level of this process is represented mathematically by Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. In this theory, the Planck constant is a constant of action in the process that forms the flow of time within an interactive universe. Quantum mechanics represents the physics of time as a physical process with the wave-particle duality of light acting like the bits or zeros and ones of a computer. This forms a blank canvas for life to form its own future relative to its position and the energy and momentum of its own actions. Time is formed by the spontaneous absorption and emission of light represented by the quantum wave-particle function or probability function with the future continuously coming into existence with each new photon-electron coupling or dipole moment. By explaining consciousness as electrical activity in the brain that is aware of its own electrical potential, this theory can place each individual in the center of their own reference frame, in the moment of now, at the forefront of this process, relative to this electrical activity. It is this personalization of the brain that gives us the concept of mind, with each one of us having our own personal view of a game of billiards from the center of their own reference frame. This whole process can be represented as a process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking. Nothing has greater organization or lower entropy than a sphere. Light photon energy from the sun cascades down forming greater degrees of freedom for increasing entropy or disorganization. This process of symmetry forming and breaking also forms the possibility for the formation of more complex and diverse forms of symmetry that we see as the imperfect symmetry of cell life. Intelligent life forms can even set up their own symmetry as in billiards, snooker or even chess and then break this symmetry seeing the uncertainty of the game unfold as the future comes into existence photon by photon. Each player has their own timeline and will see and feel time as only having two dimensions with a future and a past. But in reality each player is creating their own three-dimensional space-time by interacting with the wave-particle duality of light from the center of their own reference frame. Therefore, the uncertainty of the future unfolds relative to the actions or energy and momentum of each player. In this theory, this uncertainty is relative to us having an infinite number of line symmetries within a light sphere, representing an infinite number of potential timelines for future possibilities and opportunities. Life is an integral interactive part of this process of symmetry forming and breaking creating its own evolutionary path of broken symmetry. This broken symmetry can also be seen as mirror or line symmetry within the shape of intelligent life forms 
and in the broken spiral symmetry of plant life. The universe is a continuum, with the photon of quantum mechanics forming the movement of charge, with a continuous flow of electromagnetic fields. This represents a process of continuous energy exchange, forming the ever-changing world of our everyday life, with a potential future infinity of possibilities. This will be relative to work done by forces external to the system or reference frame, forming the great game of life. In this theory, creation is truly in the eye and hand of the beholder. Thanks for watching. Please share and subscribe. It will help the promotion of this theory.